They are still here, guys. There it is again, guys. It's Deej with Deej Fishes. It's May 31st. It's the last day for me to put up numbers in this Strike King Big Bass Tournament for the month of May. Right now, we're sitting in seventh. Someone caught a big 10-pounder here yesterday. Here's this little two and a half, three pounder to start the day. We caught so many of these on Wednesday. Anyway, we're sitting in seventh. We're only an inch and a half or so away from fifth, a couple inches from fourth and third. We have 103.25 inches. And our smallest fish is still a 19.25 and we have a 19.75 incher. So. Again, we need to find a couple 20s today. We couldn't do it on Wednesday. We caught a bunch of fish, but couldn't find the big ones. So we're back, right back in the same spot. Seems like the fish are still here. So we're gonna keep dragging this sleeper craw around and hopefully we run into a big one. I'm calling an eight pounder today. Let's Oh my god oh my god guys yes this is the upgrade we needed no no this might be an upgrade guys oh, maybe not incher guys can't be mad at it but damn it I guess you can be mad at it if you need a 20 incher oh he looked good he felt good he came right out of a tree on this jig I broke my sleeper craw off after that first fish so now I'm just throwing this bass patrol jig in brown with that uh X zone muscle back trailer on it, a three and a quarter inch. Just bringing it through these trees and hopefully we can find a big one, a big, big one. Missed this one on camera, but man, he hit it hard. Still not what we need, but solid three and a half pounder. Fish number three. We went and explored a little bit today to see if we could find some bigger fish and we didn't. So we're right back where we were Wednesday, trying to run the same pattern. this off a while ago and I just went and got it from that tree hell yeah now we got a backup we snapped one off a second ago Catching them out here with the wake boats. 
this buoy line has some humps that come up to like 10 feet. And he was right there, right under a tree. I came over a tree and ding. This is our last Scuppernong sleeper craw. Broke two off today, and these never break off, which is crazy. So, we're gonna salvage this thing as long as we can. We got five fish for the day, guys. I think we might have missed every hook set on camera, but it's all right. We're having a fun day. It's 10:20, so we got about three and a half hours till we gotta be out of here. Still gotta find that 20 plus incher. Another missed hook set, guys. So this is fish number six. We didn't get on that morning bite, but man, I think we found a little uh, a little group of them out here in the middle. Still gonna be able to salvage this sleeper craw. A little three pounder. So, you know, I'm out on this buoy line and it comes up to like 10 feet right here. Yeah, we're in nine feet. And there's trees everywhere. So I'm just fan casting until I find those trees and just shaking my sleeper craw through it. And that's when I'm getting hit. So I'm gonna stay here for a while. I think we found the fish. My GoPro just got just died. So I gotta show you guys why we don't give up. 6.99 pounds, 21 and three quarter inches at noon on the sleeper crawl, guys. Let's freaking go. Whoo! We're out here grinding. It's noon. It's been a slow day. But there's a seven pounder. That's why we keep at it. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my God. We moved, we moved spots and first cast, we caught a 699. We were out of Scuppernong sleeper craws, but we had a Scuppernong blue and it got it done guys. 21 and three quarter inches. That's gonna upgrade our bag in the monthly tournament by two and a half inches. So we're not done. We got, it's 1140. We got two hours and 20 minutes left to get after it before we gotta go home and go to work. Our smallest fish now is 19.75 inches. So let's go get another one. Woo! I had no plans on hitting this area today. I just happened to be across the way at those buoys and I caught a couple. I haven't seen anybody fish over here. I figured, you know what? It's got some nice rock that drops off into deep water. A main lake, a main lake point right there. Thought it might have a fish or two on it. And boom, a seven pounder, man. It's been a slow day. I mean, I've got, that was my seventh fish, but I caught two quickly this morning, and the next four came like one each hour. And then I came over here and caught the seventh one, which was a giant. It's 11.50 right now. I've been here since 4.30 in the morning. So when you're out fishing and it's getting tough, just try to remind yourself, man, Every, every cast could be a big bite, every single cast. Stay positive, you know, keep fishing hard and good things will happen. Woo. A lot of people get irritated with wakeboard waves. But at the end of the day, it's not your lake. First of all, everybody's out here having fun, enjoying the water. And second of all, it's not bad for fishing. When the waves hit the shore like that, it stirs up all the sediment. It gets the crawfish out and roaming. If there's shad or bluegill against the, against the uh, bank, it'll disorient them. And that's a lot of times when the bass will, will attack. So. 
don't shy away from the waves. Don't tuck into a no wake area just because you don't want to bob around a little bit. Those waves are those are those are a little sneaky bite right there. They're money. Don't shy away from that heat either. When it gets hot, these fish get active. They gotta eat lunch too. I don't, but they do. <laughs> I go off a bag of sunflower seeds and some water just to catch these guys all day. Fish number eight, baby. My GoPro just can't stay alive right now. It's not used to the heat. The summer's heat is coming back. Got another guy, he's mad at me on the sleeper craw. He, look at him biting me. <laughs> Whoa. We need bigger than a 19.75. I thought he was at first, but I, I, now I, I don't think he's got, I don't think he, he, I think he's like 19 and a quarter. But we're gonna check. 18 and a half, respectable fish. Three and, three and three quarters, three and a half maybe. Turn into a fun day. That's fish number nine. It's 12:20. We still got over an hour and a half. Unless we just be late for work, which I'm not gonna lie, we might do. telling you guys the waves don't shy away from the waves man <sighs> sleeper craw still intact luckily i think this is another one that's going to be just short of what we need we need 20 inches or more Another 19 incher. <laughs> Man, we're having fun. It's a while here. Fish number 10, baby. Yeah, we're going into work late today. I'm supposed to work at 4. I think I could do 5.30. Make up the time tomorrow. <laughs> This is a catfish, guys. It hit it super weird. Yeah, I'm not gonna get too excited. Oh man, <laughs> again, catfished at Saguaro. These channel cats are extremely active right now. Jesus, buddy. Oh man, fish number 11 was another catfish. It's all right, that was a fun fight. 
I thought that was a bass for a second. That would have shot us up even more. We still got about 50 minutes. If you're still with me right now, guys, thanks a bunch for watching all the way through. I know this wasn't my best edited video. Unfortunately, we ran into a, a bunch of problems with the GoPro overheating all day. The summer heat is really moving in. But we had a great day. Went up to 106 inches in our monthly tournament. Our top five fish today was about 20 to 22 pounds when you add in that seven pounder that we caught. So it was an awesome day. We did end up doing the responsible thing and just leaving when we were going to and getting to work at four. But I'm stoked for the month of May. I'm very happy with our fifth place finish uh, in the Strike King tournament. There was over 100 anglers in that tournament. And that fifth place finish is good enough for $500 plus $250 in gift cards. So can't complain when it was only a $10 entry. Anyway, guys, summertime is here. Fishing is heating up. I hope you guys are out there catching them. This is Deej with Deej Fishes, and I'll see you again real soon on the next one.